Hey, good evening, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Guerra, and this is Let's Have a Chat. Let's have a chat about sports and leadership. That's right. It's Monday, Monday, April 22nd, 2019. Wow. Hope everybody had a great Easter weekend, uh, a great Passover. And if you celebrated both, I just like saying Eastover. So I hope you had a great one. Uh, yeah, I know it's Monday. Some of us, or some of us had to go back to work. Others, well, enjoyed their time off. And again, that's all right. You do you, I'll do me. We'll take care of ourselves. Anyway, so let's move on. So it was a great weekend. It was not a lot of sports, but what was going on was quality stuff. It was very good stuff this weekend. So I'm going to dip into the well of this weekend's, uh, this past weekend's sporting events. But there were quite a, there were quite a few. So like I said, it was great, great. It wasn't all slammed in there trying to do everything at one time, but it was just a nice weekend for sports. So that being the case, I want to talk about professional boxing. That's right, the PBC, the Professional Boxing Championship. It was on Fox this past Saturday, April 20th. And uh, right off the bat, um, had a great match. Uh, and it was uh, Brandon Figueroa from down here, my neck of the woods here in Texas. And Yonsef, Yonsef, Pareja, and he's out of Venezuela. It's a 10-year age difference between the two. Uh, Figueroa is like 22. He's just a kid. And the other one, he's 32. He's still a kid too, you know, so it's just kind of, but he, he looked a little bit, well, never mind. I'm not going to go there. I, I trust me. But what I'm getting at is they put on a great show. It didn't go the distance. It was scheduled for 12, 12 rounds. It was for the interim WBA interim super bantamweight championship. So somebody was going to come out of here wearing a belt was going to come out of there wearing a belt. <clears throat> it did not go the distance. Um, a lot of a, a lot of heart went into that match, and you need that in, in in as a leader. You need that. So you definitely need a lot of heart. You need a lot of grit, a lot of determination, a lot of willpower, and that's a good thing. And that's what these two gentlemen in the ring, uh, right off the bat, showed the world what these guys were bringing to, to the table and they knew what was on the line. It was a championship. It was a title. And uh, now they go forward. So, but that's not what I want to talk about. That's not what I want to talk about. Here's what happened. Here's why it didn't go the distance. At the end of the fifth, sixth, and seventh rounds, Figueroa was really just kind of really dominating the rounds. He might have given up the first two rounds, but he was just getting used to his opponent, his opponent's style and what he was doing. And the rest of it, three, four, five, six, seven, it was all Figueroa. Round eight, the the boxer himself said, that's it, no more. Not going to do it. The the trainer in the corner was, come on, just give me one more round. You got it in you. Give me one more round. And he just said no. And then eventually somebody came over. One of the officials came over. And says, are you going to do it? Or is that it? And he goes, that's it. I'm done. And that was the end of the match. Figueroa wins. And... Um, that was a good thing. So he, he came, this kid comes out with a belt. Congratulations to Brandon Figueroa, Washington, uh, Washington, West Lico, Texas native. Uh, congratulations, like I said, down here from my neck of the woods. Now, so what is this other side of, the, of leadership? Well, folks, it's, it's really simple. And I, I talk about this in my second book. Know your role. Know your limits. Know yourself. And and that's truly the bottom line. You know, you you can go the distance. He, this guy went, I mean, these guys were toe-to-toe, -to -toe, banging it out. Yeah, Figueroa threw like 100 more punches than the other guy. But the other guy took 100 more punches than Figueroa took. And he still, you know, he went as far as he could go. He knew his distance. And he just got to it a little faster than, than Figueroa. And that what he had originally planned, and what Pareja had originally planned on. So... You know, much can be said about that because, again, know what you got inside you, know how much you have inside you, and know when it's time to cut it off. And that, as a leader, says a lot. Bring that to the workplace, and you know what you've got inside you. Know your limits. No one's going to shame you if you call the shots. If you say, that's it, this is as far as I can go, this is all I've got left in me, no one's going to shame you for that. If they shame you, it's when you fake it. It's when you go up there and you put on airs and you just like, oh, well, this is me and this is what I've got and this is what's going on and, and I can outlast outdo anybody and then boom, when the bullet, you know, when the bullets start flying, when, when, when it's time to get out there in the front lines, guess what? You ain't got nothing because you don't know what you got. It's when you know what you've got, then 
you've got success. Then people respect you. Then people look up to you. But when you don't know what you got or you're just misleading people with what you think you got, it's not going to get you anywhere. Where it's going to get you, it's going to get you not even another title shot. This guy, I guarantee, he's going to come back for another title shot. I guarantee it because this guy left the ring on his own terms. He ended the match on his own terms, but he's still got to answer to himself. And he'll come back and he will answer to himself. And it wasn't for lack of training or lack of trying because, you know, these guys, they wouldn't be in that ring if they didn't train, they didn't try, they didn't work hard. So like I said, all of that is great leadership. But it's the other side. It's knowing when to say, you know what, enough's enough. No mas, no more. And when that happens, that right there elevates your prestige, elevates your level of leadership, elevates you as a human being to the stratosphere. Because again, no one knows you better than you do. It's when you start faking it, then that's when people catch you. But when you're being true to yourself and you're being true to everybody, you're being authentic, you're being genuine, guess what? There's nothing for them to say because you call the shots. You know yourself better than anybody else. And when the time comes, you know when to step up and go the distance. And you also know when to pull back the reins and say, I've gone far enough. And folks, that's what leadership's all about right there. It's not about standing out there and just staying longer than you should. No, it's about knowing where to stand and how long to stand there. Folks, my name is Dave Garrett. This is Let's Have a Chat About Sports and Leadership. That's right. So let's, let's have a chat edition for Monday, April 22nd, 2019. Folks, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great evening, and we'll talk to you then, tomorrow.